Yeti mites? <gasps> Yeti mites? Hop the wall? Take the air defense? No way. We are back, ladies and gentlemen, with the next matchup. We got Tribe Gaming versus Boom Academy in the FCL tournament. Should be a fun one here with a couple of good, good teams. We got Exocis going first. Interesting. I feel like he usually goes last. All classic hero abilities. Queen charge. Lalo. Couple rocket balloons to sneak in there and get the scatter shot down. Does that work? Ooh. I like that. Cool. He already took out the enemy queen. King on the top side of the base. Probably should have popped his ability already. Hello, super miners. Nicely done with the freeze. That's actually going to save him right there. Cool. Super miners versus queen charge can be all sorts of wonky, but he handled that like an absolute pro. King on the top side, trying to get the enemy royal champion as well before he goes down, already into phoenix mode. Next rage on the queen, and here we go with the lay low, with the stone slammer. There is an invis tower to worry about. Hmm. Spirit fox on the champion. Ed hunters for the king. Here we go, freezing the town hall. Getting sketchy though. Alright, alright. The Warden ability only hit like three balloons, but we're chilling. Queen pops ability. We skipped that multi up there. Stone Slammer pops open. We got more balloons of Dragon Rider. I think the Royal Champion is somewhat healthy though with ability. With Spirit Fox, she could carry the rest of the attack because there's not that many defenses left. Off the RZ ability. Make our way up for the multi Oaks Tower. The multi targeting Inferno Tower. 69 seconds left on the clock, an invisibility spell to swag, and it is a three star for Mr. Exco Sist to kick off this match. How about that? GG's. GG's. These last couple buildings, a lot of time left over as well. Nicely done. Sup Meow is in with some zappy zaps. What did he get? A multi archer tower and a monolith. In a builder hut. Sneaky the town hall upon. Oh, that's awkward. Giant bomb was funny. Now we gotta send another one just to pop the invis tower. Hello, skelly traps. Now we can sneaky the town hall with an invisibility spell. Baby dragon on the left. First star in the bag. King with phoenix. Everything pretty classic here. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Ice Golem is in. Wall Breaker upon. Sure. How's King gonna path? Left for the expo, right for the air defense. He decides to go to the right, and those Tesla's are gonna keep him on the outside. A little wonky. Maybe it's actually good, though. Never mind. He wants to go through a wall instead of going for the Tesla. Never mind. He wants the Tesla after all. What? Queen gets the scatter shot. Invis Tower goes off again for some reason. Queen pops ability. Might be able to pick up an extra multi archer tower there. And we gotta start the Lalo. Here we go with the Stone Slammer. Royal Champion on the left. And Lalo straight into the Barbarian King. Okay. Alright. Rage Spell, Warden ability. Headhunters take out the King. Then they'll take out the enemy champion and the enemy Royal Queen. I just said a Royal Queen. Nice. More balloons from the 12th side of the base. That stone slammer is still healthy on the right side. That's looking good. Freeze the ricochet cannon to help out the royal champion on offense. Let her get through the middle section of the base. This is absolutely clapped. Absolutely clapped. Like, it's not even close. <coughs> Mr. Meow is an absolute gamer. Royal champion goes invisible. Tornado traps over there. Pop the RC ability. Take out those last two defenses. Invis tower goes off again for fun points. Fight the ice golems here. Swag our own spells over there. Get the last couple of buildings and it's all tied up. Three to three. GG. Drive Gaming with their second attack. Bringing a heck of a lot of E Dragons. And the Brax. Always loving the air spam as usual. Double Poison Tower set up on this base. What do we got? A Frosty on the King. Healer Puppet maxed out. Let's go. <clears throat> and a Life Gem instead of a Healing Tome on an E Drag attack. I don't know if I'm a fan. The life gem caps out at like 600 HP or whatever for these E-Drags. It really doesn't make any sort of difference. 
Let me know what you guys think. I, I think healing tomes way better to use with units like E drags and uh, root riders. But here we go, battle blimp, warden ability, double rage, queen on the top side. Remember, she's got that healer up it. Rage our way through these first two sections. Hello, tornado trap. We rage the, over the battle blimp though. Drop the king on the left with the frosty with the queen. Down goes the town hall. e -drag still trying to clear some of this core. One more rage right there. That's the last rage bell. Use a freeze to help with the sweeper as well. They'll get through the eagle artillery. Bounce behind it. <clears throat> nice. Got the sweeper off the bounce. Warden goes down. Has the phoenix ability so we can get a little bit extra value. Three e drags up top. King, queen still healthy, although the king already used his ability. Looking decent. But he has to pick a good spot to use the royal champion. The king is low on health. Already used her his ability. Does not have a phoenix. Queen's at full health with ability with the unicorn. We got to get that scatter shot though. So he's going to send the champion up there. But rip the double skelly. That's going to be awkward. Oh, he saved the poison. Hoggers. Queen might still go to ability though. Because the champion's taking forever to get over to that scatter shot. And the multi archer tower locks on. Queen has to pop. Oh, she's got three healers. Let's go. I forgot already. <laughs> All right. Now it's turning into a little queen walk. Two healers left and queen and unicorn and two healers still alive. Healing up that queen. Lol. Maybe healer puppet's good after all. Minute left on the clock. This is wreck. It's going to be a three star here from the Braxton Tribe Gaming. are going to be two for two. GG's. Nicely done with the E-drags here. We'll see if Boom Academy can keep up. Boom Academy! With the next attack, what do we got? What do we got? A recall spell? Six root riders? A bunch of other stuff? Ooh, royal champion trick? Yes. Invisibility? Fox, can you keep up and get in the invis spell? Thank you. Invis? Rage. Invi invisible? Invis? Timing it perfectly this time. Invisible. Ooh, they're low on health. Invis. Ooh. Oh, the fox died. Rip. Rip. Recall. No, invis one more time. He wants the rage tower real bad. He's even willing to pop the ability. Okay. <laughs> All right. E Titan Siege Barracks, Root Rider Spam City. Let's go. Sure. Got a couple of Valkyries in the mix. Two more Ice Golems coming out of the CC. Gotta fight these Ice Golems. Poison Tower slowing us down a little bit. Pekka and E Titan working together over there. Does he have a healing tone? Yes, he does. Those Root Riders are already low on health, so that Healing Tome's about to come in clutch. Boom. Skeleton Spell, redeploy the champion on the right side of the base. She's back up to full health, but no ability, no Fox. Tornado Trap behind the Town Hall. We need somebody to get that Town Hall. A couple Root Riders, even the Queen goes for it. That's good news. King with the Gauntlet. Root Riders busting open the walls of the core over here to the back side of the base. The Royal Champion dodge the Giga Poison. Uh, she's going to sit right in it like a silly goose. Apprentice Warden still in there helping out. We got Headhunters on the left side taking out the Barbarian King. 50 seconds on the clock. Queen ability still intact. Three Goblins and one Invisibility spell. A couple Balloons on the left and Hog Rider combo. Able to take out two defenses there. That's nice. Invis the Champion and the King. They'll get through the Multi Archer Tower. They'll get through the Expo. They'll get through the Mortar, the Archer Tower, and the Bomb Tower. This is a three star. How about that? Nicely done here from Boom Academy. The Royal Champion Invis spell trick works again. And we're still tied up. Boop. Stefan is in with some root riders. Some healers as well. Is it queen charge or is it warden walk? Healing tone maxed out. Looks like a queen charge. But he drops the healers right in the range of the multi archer tower. A little awkward, but we'll just rage and take it out right away. Sneaky goblin on that side. Yeti on the bottom side with a wizard, of course. A couple Coco loons searching for the traps. We get that monolith before we have to use another spell. No, she goes for the town hall first. Next rage. King on the right side. Let's try. Oh, uh, yeah, to pop queen ability. Awkward. King ability popped over here on the right. 
Skirt. Rage Tower on defense. Queen spinning around in the Tornado Trap. Next Rage on her. King about to get the Ricochet Cannon with a Splash. No. Here we go. Holy Root Rider, Battle Drill, Spam, pop the Warden ability with the Eternal Tome and Healing Tome right away. Free spell is in. Queen struggling against that Warden statue. Do we dare keep her alive? Yes. Wow. Surprise. Healing Tome helping out quite a bit. We're going to freeze the multi and the Teslas in the core. Battle Drill still alive. Apprentice Warden helping out. Queen will be able to get this Ricochet Cannon down. Okay. The Black Shot Hog Riders from the top side of the base able to take out an extra cannon. We got a skeleton spell to help distract somewhere if we want to. There we go. Distract the Wizard Tower. Distract the Archer Tower for fun points. I think he's going to get away with this. Yeah, he is. Still got three heroes alive. Still got a couple of Root Riders. A couple of Yetis coming out of the Battle Drill. It's crushed. It's crushed. Nice plan here from Tribe Gaming. A minute to go and it's already crushed. The attacks have felt a little faster at Town Hall 16. Interesting. Queen gets a clean up on the right. RC ability does clean up on the top side. Get the last two buildings. 98, 99, and 100%. And the score is, of course, currently 6 to 9. Hello. GG in. Nice. Is in with some Lalo, with some lightning spells. What do we zap? What do we zap? Inferno Tower, Multi Archer Tower, Bomb Tower, Air Sweeper. Barbarian King with the Phoenix and the Gauntlet heading his way into the corner at 6 o'clock. Queen with normal stuff. Ward with normal stuff. Cool. Wall break that junction so King can go to the right. Slap the Queen silly and if we're lucky he'll even get the scatter shot. Ice Golem with the Queen. There is a Tesla over there. Invis Tower that we have to worry about. <coughs> There's the King. He does get the scatter shot like I was mentioning but he kind of skipped the expo. Were we expecting that? Rip. Might not matter too much. Breeze, perfect. Pop the Queen ability. Does he actually come back for the expo? Oh, he is. He is coming back around for the expo. We're going to send the battle drill anyways, though. Here comes some CC troops. Drop the poison. Queen's going to go down to the monolith. Battle drill's going to do its thing, and we might as well start a Lala. Might as well start a Lala. My guy. Oh, royal champion. Okay. Oh, the Tesla pulled her. I think she was supposed to go toward the monolith as well. in there. Is that Yetis? It is Yetis. Invis Tower is about to keep the monolith alive though. Awkward. Headhunters took out the enemy royal champion over there. Now we can pop an ability for everybody going into the core. Nice. We'll get the monolith. The balloons in the core staying alive for now, but this raged up section is going to be really hard hitting. Going to have to freeze that multi that's doing extra damage. Yes. Ugh. A lot of balloons on the top side. Double skeleton trap onto the champion though. We got the invis spell for her. Sweet. Tornado trap back there. Awkward. More balloons from the right side of the base. Getting the archer tower. RC pops ability. Clears most of the core. Another two skelly traps though. Champion goes down but Warden snipes the inferno tower before switching to his favorite target. The wall. What in the world? Two balloons left. They die. The air defense is the only thing that can stop him right now. This is awkward. He's got a lot of time. Warden and Owl. How did they actually go for the Expo before the Mortar there? I don't know. But the Owl's going to chain the air defense because of it. No. The Owl dies. The Warden dies as well. The air defense on 1 HP. Don't tell me he fails like that. Yetis are alive, but they have to go through a wall. Yeti Mites? <gasps> Yeti Mites? Hop the wall? Take the air defense? No way. Hurry up, minions. Get through the best air defense in the game. The Barbarian King. Hurry, 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 hurry. The wall's low. The wall's actually low. 17 seconds. Can Yeti Mites take the mortar out? Minions, go for the other storage. Ooh. Ooh. 10. 9. 8. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. No way. With one and a half seconds to spare. Calculated. Three star for GG in, and we're still tied up.
Rakira's is in. Zap Lalo for him. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Classic abilities all around. <clears throat> Three super barbs. Where do we zap? Where do we zap? Probably something like that. If I'm right. Stay zoomed in. He's zapping right here. I can feel it tingling. Uh, right there is what I said. Yeah. Woo! Perfect. Was he supposed to get the Rage Tower too, or no? He wasn't. He got a Multi Archer Tower, an Expo, and an Inferno Tower. Sneakies, Barb's on the left, King going up top for the enemy Queen. He should be able to walk in for the Scatter Shot too, maybe? What in the Stone Slammer is going on there? Archer Queen for the Town Hall, Stone Slammer helping out. There is a lot of trap. Oh my gosh, he just pulled like every single Red Bomb that exists. It's actually good for the Lalo. If he noticed that, then he shouldn't have to worry about red bombs for the rest of the Lalo. King pops ability, takes out the scatter shot. Queen able to get through the ricochet cannon easily. Yeti might still trying to get some more value here. Queen walking in for the town hall. And now there's. Is King already took out the CC troops? Oh, GG. GG. Pop queen ability and let's go. Let's rock and roll. Lalo starting from the left side of the base. He should be able to just barely skip the Giga Poison. We're going to drop a skeleton spell there to help out. Freeze the scatter shot. I think it locked on to balloons. He's got the diggy on the royal champion. He sends all the headhunters. Can he clip them in the warren ability? I don't even think it matters. But he does. Pops the warren ability. Balloons are safe moving through the core of the base. Couple extra balloons on the bottom side for the mortar that he skipped. Lava hound safe in the eternal tome. Freeze upon the extra damage. Multi targeting inferno tower. More balloons along the rest, right side of the base where the monolith and the tesla farm lay. Royal champion still very healthy with ability. With diggy. He's deployed everything in his arsenal. But it's looking absolutely clan clashed with over a minute and 20 to go. He's already got all the defenses dead. Clean up on the bottom side going. Phoenix helping to clean up in the core. Champion Ward and Owl going to finish there as well. It is a three star for Mr. Rikiras and Tribe Gaming or four. For four. Got an orange kitty. Hey, dude. Boom Academy with their fourth attack. Coming in with some queen charge with some root riders. What equipments we got? Healing Tome on the Grand Warden. Cool. Queen on the upper side of the base with some Super Barbarians to help out. Yurt. Yurt. Hello, Skelly Trap. Hello, Tesla. Two Ricochet Cannons. The ballsy spot to charge. Got the Apprentice Warden to help out. I wonder if the Ricochet Cannon is just going to wreck the Apprentice Warden, though. Yeti on the other side. Oh my gosh, the traps are insane here. Queen kind of stepping wonky too. Bro, she's, <laughs> she's got, oh gosh, this is actually going to be really bad. Oh my gosh, even with the invis, she keeps going the wrong way. He's in big trouble. Those healers are toast. Oh no. kind of feel bad for him. He's just going to spam city it up now. Oh, this was not the plan. Oh, he's losing healer after healer after healer as well. Only like one healer left. Root Riders into the core. King and Siege Barracks. That already popped open. Warden ability, healing tome. This kind of YOLO now. With the Invis Tower there, getting the Town Hall could be a little sketchy maybe. Maybe not. Just hold the King ability for a few seconds. Now we can pop it. Okay. Town Hall secured. Is there any chance he can still 3-star? If he doesn't, this is pretty much game over. Match over if he doesn't. Still has a lot of units powering through the core. A couple super barbs on the backside. Is the Royal Champion in the mix as well? She is, over here with the King. We lost everything in the core. He's got two wall breakers though. Hold on. Queen's going to dip all the way back into the core. She has her ability. She can clear this heavy hitting stuff. Pop her ability. Yes. She'll get the scatter shot. She'll get the multi archer tower. She'll even take out the royal champion. Is there a chance this still works, dudes? No freaking way. RC has ability. He's got two freezes and a rage. And the spirit fox goes invisible. Diggy stuns. Root Riders coming in for backup. RC takes out the inferno tower. And it's still clapped with over 30 seconds to spare. <laughs> oh, nice game, Supercell. Rip. 12 to 12.
Final attack for Tribe Gaming. It is 12 to 12. Both teams on the verge of getting a perfect war. He's going with a triple skeleton donut here, trying to get two expos and the clan castle structure to kick things off. Down goes the left expo, the right expo, and the clan castle. Perfect start. Queen on the top side with a healer puppet. I see. Everything else pretty normal. Giant, a headhunter, a couple shots off, another giant. Royal Champion, Skeleton Spell to Distract. Another Headhunter and an Ice Golem. Down goes the enemy Archer Queen. Royal Champion, ooh, got distracted by Skelly Traps. He still gets the multi and goes toward the Eagle. King can pop his ability for the Monolith. This is looking pretty decent in terms of Sui value. Champion, gonna, oh, Champion goes to the right even. Gonna get all this stuff behind the Town Hall and pull the poison before we start the Lalo. This is gonna be beautiful. Hold on. If the spirit fox wakes up the town hall, she didn't. Imagine she did. He could have, like, raged and invised for the town hall. Pops the warden ability. Battle blimp soaring for the town hall. Healer puppet on the queen, so it turns into a little mini queen walk. That's so cute. Rage the yeti bomb over the town hall. Freeze the inferno tower. Hopefully we have enough balloons to go get it. Town hall goes down. Queen still has her healers healing her up. Do we have enough balloons going for the Inferno? I think we do. We're going to freeze the other Inferno. Still got a Lava Hound left over that he's going to swag, bro. He could have swagged it. He drops it for cleanup, basically. He's got two Lava Hounds at full health. <laughs> Dude, he's got two Lava Hounds at full health. What the heck is this game? Oh, it's a perfect war for Tribe Gaming. Loses the healers. The Seeking Air Mines there. He's got two Lava Hounds, like 78 balloons still alive, and a 15-star performance for them. Boom Academy with the final attack of the match. Seven Root Riders with eight Super Barbarians. Eight normal Wall Breakers, but we're first going with the RC Invis trick to try and get the perfect war. Couple Teslas pop. Is that going to mess up his plans here? Next Invis is in. Where is she going to... Does she go left for the Tesla or in for the multi next? He goes in. Tornado trap's a little awkward. He didn't make the fox invisible, now he does. Invisible, then the invis. Perfect. The ricochet cannon. Invisible, invis. He's so good at timing it. Recall, 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 recall. Where is she going, brother? Where is she? Where is she? Oh! <laughs> Why do you wait so long to recall? I don't know. Nice. Two minutes on the clock. Siege Barracks. Sure. Root Rider, a Super Barb. Maybe a Headhunter there. If you don't lose the Root Rider? Maybe not. Press the Root Rider spam from the top left. Here we go. King at 12 o'clock. With the P.E.K.K.A. with the Wizards, he's going to go toward the Town Hall. Well, they took their time on this attack, so even if they do triple, I think Tribe Gaming are walking away with the victory, but we'll see. Normal Wall Breakers to help the King in and out. Pop the Warden ability, got that Healing Tome. Everything else pretty classic. Making our way through the core of the base here. Ice Golem slowing us down a little bit. We're going to freeze upon that Invis Tower. Nice, King barely got the Town Hall in time. <laughs> Rage into the core. Cool, cool, cool. We lost most of the root riders pretty early there. Uh, skipping the monolith is a little awkward too. Send the champion directly into the king with a headhunter. We get through the scatter shot here. Queen gets locked onto by the monolith though. I'm surprised he didn't send the champion to the monolith. Besides, he just wants to finish on it instead. Got to fight the enemy queen here. We sneak in and one more headhunter at the perfect timing. That's good news. Queen ability can go off. Get a few extra buildings there. King still trying to get everything on the outside. Royal champion going to have to pop her ability. She might be able to clutch up here because of the invis spell we still have left over. Got to save it for her to get the monolith though. Honestly, I would make the builder hut invisible and just let her go for the monolith right away. Uh, he decides not to do that. So she's going to use an extra four seconds on the builder hut and then die. I think he needed to make the hut invisible there. 
So she takes the monolith first. This is going to be a defense. The only defense of the match. Wow. And it's the last attack. Two, one. Monolith stands tall. 98% rip. And Tribe Gaming pick up the victory. 100% to 99.6.